Hello there. Um, I want to talk about and play through the game I made for Pastel Gem uh, a couple of weekends ago. Um, this is a game I made in 48 hours and today I'm releasing a, a little update to it which adds in subtitles and a few little tweaks to the audio and the setting screen. And um, yeah, that's it. I just want to talk about making it and uh, a little bit about it. Um, so let me just turn all of the volumes down a bit for me and I'll turn the subtitles on. I want you to draw a lovely picture, but I've lost my pastels. I have to go find them. So this is um, this is the game. It's like in terms of interaction and like the world creation it's really similar to the last game I made because I was really um, not sure that I was even capable of doing a game in such a short period of time and you know games have taken me have been taking me a long time in general so I really simplified how things work. This is a world built out of square blocks randomly put together with then a bunch of objects, um, props, decoration and uh, locations to investigate placed in that world and then at uh, locations you can find objects. You play as Elodie, this little girl who uh, has lost her pastels and wants to find them and hey, now I can make some music. she's also lost I love to a bunch of other stuff um, which you can also find uh, and that's it you, you walk around the game um, looking for things that you've lost and when you found the pastels the game is over and look that's the thing that can happen that's the pastels so one of the like biggest problems I think with the game is that there's no kind of intelligence or th thought <laughs> that's gone into placing these objects here. around it's the world so cool. um, and you can just immediately find the pastels because they're right next to where it's you so start. On. Equally, uh, you can spend a lot of time looking for them and uh, it's very easy to miss a location. Um, I love to play piano. For example, this tree sometimes has something under it and I always forget that there's a tree. Uh, oh, even though I put it there. Um, so you can sometimes spend a really long time wandering around and fail to find things. Um, That's my so if I was making it's it again, I would time. think about there being some way of um, mm, I don't know exactly, but like letting you know where you when you visited locations, because not every location even has an object in, so you can't tell by this the, the presence so or absence of a thing even whether you visited it before and because sometimes locations are duplicated um, Yay! My sketchpad. it's really hard to know That's where useful for drawing too. most of the time I think it's not a problem you know most of the games that I've played through you find seven or eight objects well maybe even less than that five or six objects and then you find the pastels and that's that's perfect I think but uh, you know obviously it doesn't always work like that um, but apart from that, I think like I'm pretty pleased with what I managed to do in a couple of days. Um, you know, I didn't think, well, I didn't know whether it was possible, and it was, and that's that's really cool. Um, I'm particularly yay my pencil happy case. with you know some of that's the little models. I think are cool. Too. I like those pencils that I just picked up. I like the the pastels. Um, and I really tried hard to get a feeling that the world has been kind of coloured in and pastels smudged in without 
without texturing anything because I didn't have time to do that and you know maybe again if I was spending more time on it I'd you know work harder to remove hard edges and things and give more of a feeling of smudges maybe even find a way to write uh, some screen shaders that, that do that more but uh, as it is uh, I think it's I think it's good and um, really the reason the the way it's done is with a with a shader which I didn't write myself I'll I'll put a link down below to to the guy who made it whose name I forget I'm afraid um but yes I can make some guesses with that or work on it uh, I don't really know I have much else to say, so let's see if I can remember where the pastels were. No, they were in a well, right? When I, was I think they were in a well. I still like it. Hmm. I wonder if... So, I've given you a very short jump, a very small jump in this, because you're a little kid, and uh, maybe it's a little bit too small. I don't know. That well, I think it's there. So anyway, uh, that's that's kind of it. I'll go and find the pastels, but I don't know that I have anything else to say about them, uh, about the game. And um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for for watching. I'd be really happy if you went and downloaded the game, which link also in the description. Uh, it's free on itch, and uh, if you play it. Let me know what you think. Even if you think it's terrible, I want to know. So that's that. Yay! I found my pastels. Now I can go make a lovely picture. I've just put it a bug. There should be subtitles over that end. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll go and see if I can fix that. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Toodaloo. Bye. So uh, I fixed the bug and I just wanted to show you something. I wanted to draw a lovely uh, picture. I've done it, I've which my is pencils. my debug sphere. Because I don't have any way in the game to indicate where the pastels are. When I'm testing, I spawn this gigantic spear in directly, spear, sphere, in over the direction of the pastels. And um, I think it looks kind of cool. And uh, it sort of makes me wish I'd made a weirder game. But anyway. That's the debug sphere. And Yay! I found my pastels. Now I can go make a lovely Bye. picture.